Hey y'all, so this is actually a multi-part series. So if you haven't seen part one yet, there'll be a little info card right up there. But for those who have, let's get right down to the video. Alrighty, so here we are. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see. I'm gonna listen to... No, I'm not gonna listen to him, and I'm gonna... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm gonna not listen to him. <sighs> I'm going to yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope. One right here. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go on... Can I go back uh, here? Well, uh, da, 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 da. No. From here, it's, um... Left. Go left? I wonder if I go right. Can I go back? No. Nope. Oh, no. Oh. No, it's to the right. My mistake. That scared me. <laughs> Just the door closing. No, no, oh. no, no, not the right. Why no, would I have ever for. said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. This was in the, the elevator part, I think. When we were going down it, we could see it. No! No! No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay. Don't worry, okay, I've already okay. seen just, all this. We just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am it's I kidding? Bottom. It's right all there. rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. From the top. I love his voice. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There used to be one where you could like climb up and go out this window, but I'm not sure if it's there anymore. Okay. When Stanley, oh. wait, wait, what? No, that makes sense. <laughs> no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely Wait, fresh. Down. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Mm -mm. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why you know am I asking I you? I'm the, the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I do love an adventure, and it looks like there's something over there, so... I'm gonna go to this one. Actually, what's this? Okay, same thing. We're still gonna go to this, okay. We are here. Oh, it keeps going, okay. Yo, I can go through that chair. Wow. I'll say it. Yeah, what? This is the worst adventure I've How ever been on. Back? I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? 
Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, okay, no. yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go hmm. back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I bet you're right. Let's see. <laughs> Aha! Oh, I the, knew we'd miss something. The, the story. Is Here it oh. comes. This is new or different. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Heading back. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. I think I remember this from the Is this the story? Too. I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Woo! Congratulations! Me? I know you put in Thank a you. lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that oh, win. Some what? people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. Hmm. I have to restart. No. Hey, All right, I've got a this. solution. This, this time, to make sure we don't get this lost, is, I've yeah. employed the help of the this, Stanley so Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Sorry if I talk over him. I just can't find a time you sometimes. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination? Even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Right. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was no going problem. with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Mm, yes. Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Hmm. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Hmm. You won't want to miss anything. About 2,300 leaves. Perfect. Got it all memorized. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Hmm, nothing. 
Let's keep going. Hey, we can go in this room. Oh, oh, no, we're right oh no, 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 not again, <laughs> Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Oh, man. Restart. Now, oh, it's not completely restarted. It's the same. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent mm -hmm. people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Exactly. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Oh, we clicked on this door earlier, huh? Let's do it. Now, yes, this is exciting. Mm. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you Circles, want our huh? story to be? Go okay. wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, yes. I am as well. I am back. So I guess that, that does actually give you back to the same place. <laughs> Dang it. I did not want to do that. Ring around the rosies all over again. Huh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's so weird. I feel like he would have just kept me in a circle rather than... Oh, no, me. not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Hmm. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I kind of like the line, especially with the music. He's gone. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that Walking each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, like will taking right. the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Indeed. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny, destiny awaits. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's go this way. That's on the right way. Well. Oh, hold up. What's this? Mm. There's mm. that. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? Wait, wait. And we're supposed Before to restart we, the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all really determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd I don't want it to be. I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. Uh, I won't restart the game. I won't do it. Again. I won't Begin do it. I won't do it. Okay. And the timer to the stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Yo. The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Yes. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. There. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh, man. I thought that was actually something different than the beginning, the first one, for a second there. Dang it. 
They're just about to get interesting. So I, I remember reading that. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So Stanley it, decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I need to find the line. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it you didn't know, make Stanley a single difference. Everything. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Come on. Let's do this. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. No, I can do this, I think. Here we go. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration this. and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place mm. to be? Yes. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? No, I'm not. Um, should I click no? Or yes? Let's go for no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you mm. think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you like spend in total same. just to that have heard previous. all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. Mm. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, no. you it's are one of one. the lucky ones. I am. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. Hmm. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Hmm. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to choose the other option. So. The first option. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Go Stanley window. decided to go to the meeting Maybe room. Yes. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co- At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Indeed. So, Very. now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Hmm. I'll go yes this time. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to I quit. Could've. Any could've. of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Hmm. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Oh, I love this. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. 
but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. I love this. There once was a narrator who wasn't smarter than a gator. He kept on talking um, and Stanley gave him a flocking. The end. <laughs> See, I'm just as talented. Well, we'll restart this. Okay. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Uh... Yes, this is the same. I might have ruined the confusion ending thing with the continuing on with that, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's find a new ending, though. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm. Wow, yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, nope. Run this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm going up this. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be you difficult, what, huh? but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, really? stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her, huh? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I think I remember this ending. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, well, I do remember another ending where you can actually unplug the phone, but I want to see if there's anything changed with this ending, so I'm going to pick it up. Sweetie, okay, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Wow. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Well. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going no, on going here. Inside. Oh, I can move. I'm not going inside. Sorry, but you're in my story now. No. Can I escape? He always brings up these walls. So annoying. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. No. Oh, no. And not do anything else. No. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. No. 
Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. Indeed. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Is this all a dream? Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Hmm. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. No. So and really. so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Hmm. The thought excited him terribly. Sounded like part of the song. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called yes. it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that oh, it man. would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there oh, possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Hmm. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I don't want to, but there's nothing I can do. What else am I supposed to do? Well, boom. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll uh, understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. That's cool. Maybe now he this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Stanley died, huh? That almost seems like the, the confusion, confusion actual ending. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna call it for the night. So, here we go. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. 
Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is actually the last that I've played so far of the series. And if you continue to want to watch more, please leave a comment and a like down below. I'm thinking of different ideas of what to do from now on rather than the Stanley Parable. But if you want to continue to watch it, please do that so I can continue on making these videos. If you have any other ideas of things that I could create or do reactions of or anything, please leave a comment about that too. And if you continue to want to see my stuff, please subscribe and put that bell notification on it. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.